guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 79 inside this video we will discuss the concept of global scope in laravel model in the last video we had discussed all about local scope of laravel model now if i back to editor so in the last video inside this device model this is the method actually what we had created also, we had used this local scope method inside this sample controller and these are the examples like what we had seen so far. Now this time, inside this video, we will discuss all about global scope. So first of all, what is the difference between a global scope and a local scope? So local scope in the sense that we are going to define our conditions what we have defined inside last video is only related to device model. Here we have a method. This is the method what actually we had used inside this device model and we can access this scoped method only for this model. But just think for a case, let's say that we have two different tables. One is we have a user's table and the second we have let's say devices table. In both table, we have a column called status. Now, when we query inside users table to select, let's say, all active users, it means status equals to 1. So, in that situation, what I want, if I back to slide, open a new tab. So, for users table, the query is something like, let's say, user is the model. Here, we will use all. So, before that, we will put the condition called where status equals to 1 and we will use get method or all method now by the help of this query actually we are retrieving all the users from means all the users from users table whose status equals to 1 now again another table we have called devices inside that devices table we have several devices entry and we want to retrieve all the devices whose status equals to 1 so device this is the model name where let's say status equals to 1 and we will use get method now look at here inside this users query we had used a condition called where status equals to 1 now inside this device query, again the same condition we had used but this time it is going to retrieve the data from devices table. So what is the difference between global scope and the local scope? Now when we go inside this device model, this is our local scope what we had developed inside last video. So for a global scope, this method is only used in case of device model. Now if we want to use this scope method for this let's say if I back to slide for this users so we are not able to use that local scope. But just think for a case when we create this condition as a global scope then this method will be accessed by these two methods like for retrieving users as well as retrieving active devices. Now this condition we are going to create at global scope and we will use inside any of the model inside entire application. Right now according to current scenario the same condition we had used inside right here inside this model but this time this method is only used for this device model. But when we want to make this means a method as global so in that situation we will be able to use inside these cases. So how can we use or so let's say how can we create a global scope? So back to documentation, laravel.com, click on documentation and inside this if you go inside this eloquent ORM, click on that, click on getting started. Now inside this documentation at the last we will see here query scopes. So if we click on that, here we have the theoretical concept of global scope. So if we see inside some documentation like writing a global scope is simple, first define a class that implements eliminate database eloquent and scope interface. It means when we create a global scope, first we need to implement this interface. 
Now next, Laravel does not have a conventional location that you should place scope classes. It means inside this directory structure, we don't have any specific folder to store scope classes. Now as you can see that inside this app, HTTP, we have a controllers folder to store all the application controllers. Also, we have a middleware folder to store middleware files. We have a models folder to store all the model files. But to store global scoped files, we don't have any Laravel convention. So the scope interface requires you to implement one method called apply. The apply method may add where constraints. Now here we have a sample skeleton of creating a scope. So what I will do, first of all, if I back to directory structure, close all these open files. I'm closing that. Now inside this app, I'm going to create a folder called scopes. So creating a folder with the name called scopes. Now inside this scopes, I'm going to create a file, let's say status scope.php. Now inside this file, what I will do next, I will copy the whole code from here, copy that back to our file and pasting it here. So according to our need, I will customize this file. So right here, currently we are inside this namespace called, we are currently inside this app and scopes folder. So it is perfectly okay. Now next, we need to use these packages right here inside this scope class. Next we have this is our sample class. So what I will do instead of ancient scope, let's say that status scope. It implements scope interface and the scope interface is coming from eliminate, database, eloquent and scope. What we had seen inside this documentation. Back to editor. Now here we have a apply method. Don't worry about these parameters what we have inside this apply method. So just go here inside this method and what I will do, let's say that we want to retrieve all the devices from the table whose status equals to 1. So let's say that instead of created at status, I will remove all these values from here and putting 1 here. Now successfully we have created a global scope class. Now next. How can we use this global scope with our device model? So if I back to documentation, now inside this, if I scroll down, here we have applying global scopes. So here inside this model, let's say, this is an example where user model is considered. Now this time in our case, we have device model. So inside device model, this is a booted method, which is a static we need to use. So what I will do, simply I will copy this code copy back to editor now i will open device model from our setup so app models device.php and in the last video this is the local scope what we had developed so i will comment all the code of that pasting it here now this time we have pub protected static function and booted method and inside this static method block, we have a static keyword and here we have a method called add global scope. And inside this, we need to pass the instance of this scope class means status scope. So first of all, we need to import here. So let's say use status scope. So successfully we have imported from app and scopes folder. Now inside this, what I will do simply creating an instance. So this is new and here we have new status scope. Now once we're done with this booted method, successfully now we have imported and used this global scope inside these devices. Now we are allowed to use our condition what we have passed inside this apply method. So to use that, if I go and open up our controller, go to controllers, sample controller and what I will do if I remove all these codes, what we had written inside last video, get rid of this method as well. And inside this get active devices, let's say that devices equals to, we will call this device model and we will simply use all method. I am writing two lines more, echo p 
pre-formatting tag and here let's say print r and this devices variable now if you save all these changes back to terminal let's start our development server so php artisan serve pressing enter and one more thing before starting this development server if i simply type php artisan go inside this command list so we don't have any command to create any scope class so manually we need to create a scopes folder inside app directory or inside anywhere inside our application and simply we need to create a class that will implement our status means scope interface now i'm going to start development server so php artisan serve start it back to browser go and reload this page now firstly we need to check the route go inside routes folder web.php and here is the route called list active devices which is calling get active devices and this route we don't want anymore because method has been removed so i will copy back to browser and if i type here now as we can see that we are getting all the devices like 0 1 2 and here we have the third index it means total 4 rows we are getting. Let's open phpMyAdmin. So I will type localhost phpMyAdmin. And if I check the database actually we are using inside this application, go inside this .env and we are using device underscore app. So I am logging inside this phpMyAdmin. Here we have device underscore app go inside this devices table because we are using device model which is pointing towards devices model and devices table sorry and inside this table we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 total 4 rows we have where status equals to 1 so here we can see a difference difference is that while using local scope if I back to sample controller while using local scope we had called our local scope method here but in case of global scope simply we have created a scope class linked with this devices model right here inside this static booted method and automatically it will be attached with this device model so when we make any query related to our devices table via this devices model automatically this condition will be attached the condition is something status equals to 1. This is the example in case we have taken the devices table only. But if I back to slide, here we have the users table as well. Let's say that we have another table called users. Inside that users table, we have several entries. According to status, we also want to retrieve the data. So simply, here we have made a global scope called status scope. Let's consider that this is users model called user.php. Simply inside that model class user, we need to call this method, means we need to define this method inside that model and simply add this line. Now we are telling that this user model is going to use this status scope. So when we do any query like user, if you remove this condition from here and call it as all, so after adding our global scope, automatically it will pick the condition called status equals to 1. Now think for a case. As we know that while using this query, we want to retrieve all the devices. So right now inside this devices table, we have all the entries. Either it will be status equals to 1 or status equals to 0. But this time, after using this global scope concept, we are getting only whose status equals to 1. So is there any way to get rid or let's say in some cases we don't want to use actually this global scope inside this making query. So any way to remove that, yes we have. If I back to the documentation to find the solution, go here and when we had made this booted method inside this model so while making query to select all the users behind the scene this query will be generated called select star means all from users where status equals to one automatically what the condition actually we had supplied here it will be automatically apply when we select any means data from table 
but in some cases if we don't want to use like we don't want to use this scope condition like status equals to one so how can we do that so if i scroll down here we have removing global scopes so simply we need to use call without global scope and if i copy that simply copy this code go here inside this device we want to select inside the sample controller we want to select all the devices like we don't want to actually apply this condition called status equals to n so how can we remove that simply we need to add this arrow operator using all method and here we have devices without global scope and inside this we need to pass the global scope class called status scope inside here so first of all we need to use that so use status scope and simply I will copy and pasting it here now we are telling this model that okay we have a global scope but right now we don't actually need to use this status scope simply you need to select all the data from devices table now if I back to browser go and reload this page and here we have some error that is called undefined method all now I think that instead of all method if I use get method then hopefully it will work so save all these changes go and reload this page now here inside this listing we are getting zero index first index here we have second index third index here we have fourth index means we are getting all the data what we have inside this table so this is all about guys that is what is the difference between a local scope and a global scope how can we create a global scope and also how can we apply inside any of the model and use inside anywhere inside application and also in some cases if we don't want to use the global scope concept so how can we remove that these all things we had learned inside this video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day